Hello everyone, my name is Teddy Prism and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. Last episode we finally found out uh, about Dust's past and uh, how he came uh, to Elysian. Elysium. I think it was Elysium. Anyway, let's uh, head out. We're now heading to volcanic area. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. That mind is not broken. Yeah, I think it's more fixed now than ever. But I think uh, we are going to head out and uh, get, give that... Uh, Snow to Popo before we head out to Everdon Basin. Let's see. I think it was this one. And down here. I'm not sure if I got uh, all those uh, seeds uh, too, but uh, let's see if we can. Uh, Turn that quest in at the same time. If you can find all six of my sheep, I'd all right, we still need one more of them. Sparkly wool. Oh, oh! I didn't uh, know about this uh, treasure key. Well, apparently it's mine now. So, Popo. Dust, you did it! You brought snow. I know how much it means to you, Bopo. Well, I don't have much to offer. Besides from this funny rock, it don't seem <laughs> to do anything down here in mud pot, but it looks pretty neat. Here. I would have uh, donated without uh, any kind of reward either. We had our moment together, me and Pa. Taking a walk through the snow, building a fort, watching all those flakes fall from the sky. I know none of it were real, but I'll always have this memory now, thanks to you. I've just got to be strong now, for Mama. Thanks so much, Dust, for everything. You're welcome. You're welcome. I've just got to be strong now. For Mama. Thanks so much, Dust, for everything. Is there anything back here? Oh, Rainbow Resonance game. Okay, I wonder where that takes uh, takes us. Well, time to head out and uh, continue main quest.
there's still something up here, I think. This, uh, that one down there, but I really wonder where is, is there something up there? There is, but how do I get there? Ah, we need to get this uh, wind free from there, to reach up there. Well, that's a mystery for some another time. And I love when a witch does that. She's so cute like that. Well, time to head out and uh, continue our main quest. Chapter 5 Legend I think I'll uh, save just in case. I doubt I need to, but anyway, whoa, that could have ended badly or hotly. Oh, who goes? Oh, it's you. Apologies, Miss Rock. Please enter. Why is everyone following me now? Hello? We welcome your presence, Saint Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Are we safe here? Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of your guys! <laughs> How did a moonblood operate so freely in the wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Is this all you have left? Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Let's oh, hope so. Well, no pressure or anything. <laughs> yeah. What is the way of flameless light? I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in dust. This could take a while. We should have a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong because we still have to build a fire every time dust pulls out his map. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. Who when else? General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons, 
Stories of elaborate contraptions that seem to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintok in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we're supposed to fight these things with your lamps. I did not say it would be easy. <laughs> Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. <laughs> what can I do to help? Well, I'm here now. Is and there anything I love I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. So meet up uh, with Engineer and then find our scout. Sounds like a plan. Oh, hello, Ginger. Ginger? Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Yeah, I kind of want to know about Listen, this. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Yeah, I, I think uh, in this case, uh, Jin had something to do with it, uh, even if uh, indirectly, and mostly done because of uh, dust is what dust is now, but still, I think uh, that's also something uh, she might want to hear. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listen to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Or at least he was. Do I want to be realistic or give her hope? I kinda want to give her hope. He still is. No, Ginger. I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin, and I have Jin been. keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. Well, I'm this kind like, of backfire. I him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. So, let's uh, find that uh, engineer. Oh, there you are. Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide mm. the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. So, 
Time to head down. Geronimo! Not so bad of a jump. Hmm. I think this might be another good place to end the episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye!